call just peachy perfect. Never underestimate the need for proper tableware. Function should always follow form. When creasing and folding serviettes, one must I'm sure there's nothing course. Debbie Marvelous can't do. Eighty-three degrees there. Presto! Ooh. Feel free to use a protractor. And now that we have our perfect serviettes, I'm going to let you in on a little secret on how to prepare the best leftover casserole supplies. It's today's peachy perfect recipe. We want it healthy. Because nothing slows me down like potato chips and cola. Yuck! Hi, Mom. Can I have a snack? In the kitchen, dear. A quart of lime ice cream, three pickles, a pound of soy hey. beans, and five tablespoons of milkless, sugarless chocolate. And help me to take over the world! <laughs> mm. I better get some zombie fingers and fast. Yee! These are definitely not zombie fingers. Mom always has zombie fingers for my after-school snack. This is... different. Whoa. Mashed potato sculpted skiers. It's a new recipe I got from Debbie Marvelous today. Presentation is everything. Isn't it peachy perfect? Is it edible? Most of it. My mom wanted me to wear this frilly thing with pearls around my neck. Mm. My mom's been acting strange, too. Something tells me that Miss Debbie Marvelous is somehow trying to turn all our moms into perfect moms. Charlie, why are you walking funny? Miss Marvelous laundry tips. My mom started starching my underwear. Ugh. Thanks, Dad. That was the best Freaks and Geeks movie yet. You're welcome, Mona. It's good to get out of the house once in a while. More guests? Oh, Peachy! Hi! I'm the Miss Marvelous representative. What do you think of our new drapes, the Marvy doilies, and the Peachy crochet armrests? We're always looking for new members. Come sit down. We have lots of room. It's going to be a peachy perfect world. All the children will be peachy perfect. Peachy, peachy. Ah! Oh, isn't she peachy? You know, Debbie Marvelous frowns at all types of junk food, dear. <sighs> Note to self. Derail this train to Perfectville before it's too late. How can a vampire exist in a world of Debbie Marvelous clones? Now that's no way for a young lady to dress. It's not beachy perfect. Ah! Try this on for size. A beachy perfect dress. Isn't that Perfect! No! Mona? I was trapped by a crazy cyborg creep who forced me to wear a pink dress. It was horrible! It was only a dream, Mona. See? You still have your same pajamas on. Try to get back to sleep, honey. It's strange that Mona would dream of a pink dress, considering I just bought her a nice pink dress. <gasps> A pink dress isn't so bad. My mom just bought me a plaid suit and a bow tie. And then she starched them. <gasps> Debbie Marvelous must be controlling our moms with some sort of mind-altering control device. A device so evil it can instantly change a person. <laughs> And it's our job to stop her. How many of Ms. Marvelous' Better People magazines do we have to read? Here it is. The talented Ms. Marvelous uses state-of-the-art technology when choosing the perfect match. Be it house redecorating, choosing the perfect tablecloth, or making the most scrumptious of apple pies. The Perfectatron. 
And I have an extra special, peachy perfect goodie for you, Mona. Look, dear, I took Fang to the Debbie Marvelous Caring for Your Pet Exposition. And you'll never guess who's the special host at this year's Improved Living Exposition. It's Debbie Marvelous. I can't wait to go. Can we come along? We'll be good. Sure, that'll be just peachy. Don't worry, Fang. We're gonna pay a visit to this diabolical Ms. Marvelous. <sighs> well, it's the pink dress. Oh no, now Mom wants to change me too. It would be a nice change to wear a pretty dress, don't you think? If you get a chance to meet Ms. Marvelous, she'd be very impressed. This might make a good disguise. Wow! You kids go and enjoy yourselves. Meet me later at the Debbie Marvelous stage. Vacuum cleaners! A supersonic juice squeezer! I could live here! Mm -mm. Come on, guys. We have to locate and destroy the Perfectatron. Hello, everybody! Is everyone just peachy? Peachy perfect! Like me. You had sleepless nights worrying about how to make the perfect crepe. This is your lucky day. Now, take four hours. You've seen enough. It's time to make our move. Let's go find that perfectatron. Hey, here it is. And now let's see Yikes. who our special model will be today. Are you ready for a marvelous makeover, sweetie? Uh, no. We've got Lily. It's time to redecorate. <laughs> now, you're peachy perfect. Yes, I am peachy perfect. Lily. We have to free Lily. We have to get our hands on that machine. Did you see that thing? She's way too powerful. This is a job for Mona the Vampire and Satman. We haven't the time for pit stop, Zatman. Voila! The Anti-Perfectatron. The ultimate weapon against the peachy perfect Debbie Marvelous. Show's over. We know what you're all about. It's time to be buzzy! slows me down like potato chips and cola. Where are you going? I think I know how to beat her. This is for my starched underwear. And this is for my starched bow tie. Uh-oh. Here, use this. Debbie Marvelous despises junk food. you guys. The world is now safe from the Perfectatron. I have to, um, cook, but my computer. I don't know how, um, how to fry an egg. My computer. I, I don't, uh, oh. This is not funny. Not funny at all. Look at my dress. Look. It's not perfect. It's not perfect. It's ruined. It's ruined. 
It's all ruined! My perfect life is ruined! You changed the living room back to normal. Well, yes. I think I'm out of my Miss Marvelous phase. Phew, that's a relief. You won't have to wear that pink dress for a while. Now, how about we have a girls' night? Eat some pop brains and watch the return of the vampire children? Great idea! Now this is perfectly abnormally normal. Wow. Okay, Lily. Lawrence is leading by three. You can still catch up. Bad chance. I'm just happy to help Lawrence practice. Let's see who can spell ramifications the quickest. R-A-M-I-F-I-C-A-T-I-O-N-S. Lawrence wins again. That's why he's the spelling bee champ, and I'm not. Okay, here's the next word. Serendipity. S-E-R-E-N-D-I-P-I-T-Y. -E -E wow! I won that one! Huh? Whoa! Big B! Lawrence, are you okay? If you stay still, they go away. I hope. It worked! Sort of. Unfortunately, Lawrence won't be in tomorrow's spelling bee competition. Nervous tension. He broke out in hives. But who's going to represent the school now? Before I announce that, you should know the National Spelling Bee Association has a new mascot. Beezy, the first robot queen bee. Here's her owner and inventor from Mr. Harry's Hive Away Honey Farm to explain more. Hey, kids. This is Beezy, the world's first robot queen bee. Don't worry, she's perfectly safe. Why did you invent it? One word, productivity. Beezy is the crowning glory of my mobile bee farm. Traditionally, the queen bees stay in the hive, but my Beezy is out in the field sending urgent signals to my worker bees to make them super efficient. What's a mobile bee farm? It's a bee farm on wheels in a big high-tech truck. It brings Beezy and the bees anywhere the flowers are in bloom. Very impressive. We're honored that you're sponsoring this year's Spelling Bee. And the winner of the Spelling Bee will get the picture on my very own Mr. Harry's Hive Away Honey Jars. Sound exciting? Plus, they win a 24-speed bike and portable stereos for everyone in the class. <laughs> impressive, I know. You, I bet you can spell Opportunity. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. O P O. Uh, uh. <gasps> Lily, I've selected you to take Lawrence's place in the big spelling bee tomorrow. M me? I don't know. I just. Don't worry. You'll do great. Congratulations, Lily. You must possess a very bright mind to challenge the reigning champ, Sonny Spellman from Richfield Academy. Pardon me, I just wanted to let Lily know the whole school is counting on her to win. Good luck, Lily. We'll see how well you do under pressure. I don't want to let the class down, but if this Sonny kid is as good as they say he is... Don't worry, Lily. You're going to do great. I'm just a little worried about that hairy guy and his robot bee. Yeah, that mechanical bee was definitely creepy. <laughs> hey, look, it's Sonny Spellman. Excuse me, coming through. Busy working, can't be L-A-T-E. Coming through. Are you the Sonny Spellman? The spelling bee champ? <laughs> yeah, that's me. S-O-N-N-E-Y, Sonny. <laughs> Yes, your highness. Paint Reverend Gregory's fence. Wash Mr. Hyde's windows. Efficiency is my goal. Oh, I'm late for my next job. So please X-Q-U-S-E-E -E me. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah, cool. He turned into a bee-human hybrid. But not only that, he was an awful speller. We better go check this out. Thanks. 
Thing. He's a very busy bee. Let's go find out what the buzz is all about. This must be Mr. Harry's mobile bee farm. Sorry I'm late, Father. Father? Father? Mr. Harry is his dad? I knew something was going on. Did you waste precious time talking to some children? But I still got the fence painted, the windows washed, and the groceries... Not good enough! You need to work harder, faster, quicker, like a bee. Yes, Father. And can I take a rest now? No time for rest. We, I mean you, have a tournament to win. You need to be efficient and organized. But, but I don't want to be a bee. I just want to be... me. <laughs> Easy, buzz him. Sonny, you are the prototype for a new breed of super bee humans. Tomorrow at the spelling bee, Beezy will begin transforming others into worker bees. Then the whole town will be one big beehive of activity under my control. We have to stop him before he puts his plan into action. Uh -oh. We're out of here. Busy after them. Mobilize the attackers. on the spelling bee when that Mr. Harry is going to turn the town into a giant beehive. Don't worry, Lily. Mona the Vampire and Zatman are going to battle Mr. Harry and Beezy. You just go practice. We've got a great plan. Really? Okay. We got a great plan? I didn't want Lily to worry. But we're bound to think of something. I hope. Sorry I'm late. I had to fill my zapparama with honey. Sure was sticky. Look, there's Lily and Sunny. And Harry and Beezy. Let's go see what they're up to. <gasps> All right, Beezy. Let's commence with transforming this town into the most industrious place in the world. Hate to ruin your little plan, Harry, but... Beezy's not going anywhere. Yeah! Hate to disappoint you, kids. Get to work, Beezy! Zatman! Help! Yikes! <laughs> 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 you can't stop progress! <laughs> Attention, everyone. The National Spelling Bee Association and Harry's Hiveaway are proud to welcome you to this event. That's not W-A-S-T-E any more time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <clears throat> Our two contestants are ready, so let's begin. First word, psychosis. P-S-Y-C-H-O-S-I-S. Very good, Sonny. You can't stop me! Zapman! The Zapparama! He's... He got me! No! Hand it over, Mr. Harry! That was... close! Dominion. D-O-M-I-N-I-O-N. D-O-M-I-N-I-O-N. Very good. Ready for the next word, players? Spell culmination. C U L M I. No! M A T I O N! No, it's mine! Let go! I, I, I can 
explain. <laughs> no explanation needed. Lily is the winner. Great work, Lily. Congratulations, Lily. You're the spelling bee champ. If there's anything this town won't tolerate, it's a spelling bee cheater. I'm really sorry. I didn't really want to cheat. I just... That's okay. We know it wasn't your fault. I just hope Mr. Harry learned his lesson. In local news, Mr. Harry's Hive Away has issued an apology for this morning's spelling bee irregularities and is donating his next month's profits to the Insect Museum. Now that's how I spell justice. Yeah! We'll be back after this <laughs> commercial <laughs> message <laughs> with the story about the recent mosquito problems. <laughs> 